So we've got a fairly small swarm there, about three frames. Small, small swarm in there, also about three frames. This full box of bees. These bees can't stay here. We're going to take them to the apiary tonight. Super exciting guys, uh, two days ago, within 24 hours, we caught three swarms. One swarm's in the box over here, the other swarm we've got in this box over here, and then the third swarm sitting up there on top of the roof. What actually happened was the first day, which was the Thursday, the swarm arrived here. I didn't actually see it arriving. I just started to see bees going in and out of this box and I saw them bringing in pollen. So I knew for certain that there was a queen inside this box. Then the very next day, I'm sitting inside the house, quite far down in the house, and I just hear this massive buzzing going on. Came outside and the swarm landed and this is a really, really big swarm. And then while we were watching the swarm finishing up and crawling into the box, the air suddenly was filled with bees again and we were so fortunate and blessed that this other little swarm which I think was coming for this box because there was a bit of fighting going on and they realized that they, they, this swarm is much bigger than them they nested themselves just under the roof there my son Ethan was able to uh, find the queen and we put her in that box and then we popped that box up there because we couldn't quite retrieve all of the bees that were underneath there and those bees ultimately in the morning climbed into that box. These are my uh, uh, hives that I've been storing here over winter. These bees can't stay here. We're going to take them to the apiary tonight. <music> sure of is that we're moving our bees more than six kilometers away um, if they were closer than six kilometers then what would happen is tomorrow morning the bees would leave the hive and then they would actually return here to this location uh, especially if it's very close like within two or three k's so we're taking these these bees are now going to be going about 15 k's away from here um, that means tomorrow morning they'll have to reorientate themselves and then they'll get used to the new location of the hive found the queen. Let's have a quick peek. Interesting. Yeah, just to see you can't lay me next time. <laughs> if there's nothing in there. No, no, no. Okay, yeah. Okay, so th this is a really, really small swarm. We're gonna uh, feed these guys. That's it, all three swarms in the apiary. We're probably gonna check on them in a week, particularly that big box, because we don't want that big box to re-swarm again because the box is too small. So we'll be back again just to check on those guys, and then we're gonna feed them so that they can, uh, so the queen can start to lay, and uh, these colonies can get lacquer strong for spring.